Hola Santa Sue, I'm Carlos Rodriguez. Shalom, I'm Elena Newman. This is our first show since that horrible, tedious, long week off. <laughs> I know, I for one barely made it. <laughs> we're in the thick of the holiday season now, Carlos, and in only 13 and a half days, we're gone for two more weeks. Speaking of season, most of you seasoned students know that Gil the Yard Duty retired, but is now back for duty. Here's Bradley Rochelle to explain. How's it going? Good morning. Hey Gil. Yeah. Oh, I haven't seen you for a while. Hey Gil. All right. Hey Gil, do you mind if I have a few words with you? No problem, Brad. What's up? I heard you retired. Um, what's up with that? Yeah, I retired for a year, but uh, I kept subbing. I'd come over once a week and sub, and uh, I subbed for this one lady that started at 7:15, got off at 11. So I told the bosses, hey, I'd come back for this shift, you know, it's a great shift. Two weeks later, the lady gets sick, can't work anymore. Mm -hmm. So I said, well, I'd come back and, uh, it's, you know, I love it here, I just get to meet the freshmen. They have to get to meet me and I meet them and there's no problem. The upperclassmen, I know them already. Bye, Gil! Bye. Alina, did you ever make a five-year plan? I can see you need a reminder of what that is and why you made it. Oh, hello. Didn't see you there. I'm Carlos Rodriguez. I remember when I was a freshman, the last thing on my mind was what I'm going to be doing in five years. Oh, hello, Miss Bischoff. You need to get out. You're in my seat. Take a seat. T take a seat. So what's this uh, five-year plan about? Well, the five-year plan is for our freshmen, and they get to plan out their roadmap for the next four years to their ultimate goal after high school. There's different choices like two-year colleges, four-year colleges, and depending on what you do, it depends on the courses that you need to take in order to graduate with your CNSC diploma as well as complete your A through G requirements. And speaking of freshmen, their class is sponsoring a pillow drive. Watch this. I just got brand new pillowcases and I have no idea what to do with my old ones. I do. Have you heard of the organization called Little Dresses for Africa? No, what's that? It's a nonprofit organization where you donate your old pillowcases to and they transform them into simple dresses and shorts for young children in Africa. Just make sure they're washed, stained, and hole free. But where do I turn them in? I know! Turn them into Miss Bischoff in the counseling office. Our goal is to raise 200. So hurry up, the drive ends December 16th. You wouldn't guess it by looking at me, but I love instrumental music. Well, you're in luck. You wouldn't guess it by looking at me, but I like instrumental music when it's attached to a play. All righty then. I really couldn't sing. I could never really sing. What I couldn't do was sing. I had trouble with the. No. It goes all around my head. It's a terrifying. Sing. I really couldn't hear which note was lower or was higher. Which is why I disappear if someone says, "Let's start a choir." The musical. this Carlos but we still have more new teachers desperately clamoring to be interviewed for our show and the wait is over for this lucky one James Thompson here outside of room 107 with an interview with one of our new teachers Mr. Pratt who teaches history and English let's find out more okay Mr. Pratt have you taught at any previous schools yes I have um, I've taught at Royal High School for six years and actually I'm presently still teaching at Royal believe it or not um, the school district has me at Royal High School and Santa Sue, and um, so I'm getting a taste of, of both schools at the same time. What do you teach at Royal? At Royal I teach world history. Here I teach U.S. history and English. Oh. Okay. Well, since you've been at both schools, can you compare the two? But one thing I noticed about Santa Sue that really stands out to me um, are the students. Um, I really appreciate how um, polite and well-mannered the students are. Have you been uh, interviewed like this at Royal? Um, no, I haven't. Still waiting for that. Um, the video program here is outstanding, and uh, I think it really shines. 
Uh, outside of school, I like to spend as much time as possible with my family. I have a beautiful wife and three daughters. But what's challenging in my life is that I'm actually working two jobs. So I'm teaching, and I'm also working at the Apple Computer Store in Thousand Oaks. Oh. So if anyone ever wants to come in and say hi, come on in. All right. <laughs> well, thank you so much for your time. Mr. Okay. Thanks. Back to you in the studio. I wonder why Ali Torrance and Sam Shear call these things hidden talents. Maybe they'll tell us this time. We're here with Cassidy Cooper. Cassidy, tell us about your hidden talent. Well, I design and create clothing and accessories. How long have you been doing this? Well, for the past few years, I've been really interested in fashion, and I decided that because I love sketching and designing so much, I might as well start making my clothes. And do you think you're going to pursue this hidden talent on in the future? Well, I'm planning on going to school for design or art or something in that category, and so hopefully it'll be my career in the future. Awesome. Thanks for showing us your hidden talent. Hidden talents. Another episode of Tea Time with Art is just wrapped up. Let's see who Ali Torres nabbed this time. Welcome to Tea Time with Artists. So Chance, what's your form of art? Playing the trombone. Awesome, and how long have you been playing? Been playing since fifth grade. And why the trombone? Because I like how it's like a big metal slide whistle. Hmm. What's your inspiration for playing? Other jazz trombones, but mostly the music that comes from my soul. Yes. And there you have it. Chance Plaskett, everyone. And now, a word from our sponsor. Have you ever been to Fishy Finds annual Christmas sale? No? Well then you should go. It's this week and Saturday and Sunday. Saturday from 10 to 5, Sunday from 11 to 5. We'll have the Santa Santa Choir here singing carols and gift wrapping for your gift wrapping pleasure. Everything in the store is on sale from 10 to 70% off. So come see us. Ho, ho, ho. Happy holidays from Fishy Finds. And that's the way it is. December 2nd, 2010. Have, Have a, a great, great day, day Santa, Santa Sue. Sue.